Hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Tonight's video we're going to be unboxing a painting that I received from In Love Arts. Now I did take the garbage bag off of it and let it air out. I did wipe it with a Clorox wipe so that I can get rid of all the germs just in case. You never know. Um, really excited to take a look at this as I said because I ordered this back I believe it was in the beginning of December and that's when all of the coronavirus thing was going on back um, on the other side of the pond and I had gotten the notification saying that it was going to be delayed in delivery because of that reason. About five weeks ago, I got a notification saying that they shipped it, which I was so excited about. And today I received it March 31st. Now I also got something else today. Um, I was curious because I wasn't quite sure what it was. So I opened it up and I want to show you what it is. Now I purchased this because I thought it was interesting. Have any of you seen the commercials on like Instagram or Facebook, anywhere, that shows that diamond pin that dispenses diamonds at the top of the pin. And then it dispenses it and it leave, you could put it like on clothes, uh, canvases, things like that. If you have, please go down in the comments below and let me know. Because I purchased one of those pins after seeing it several times, I thought, wow, that looks so interesting. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and purchase the pin. Now this pin cost me about $26 US. And it also included um, mini crystals. Now, that should have been my first red flag. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is what the pin looks like. Now, how it works is... This comes off and there's your tip right here. So I'm just gonna bring it up to my hand. So there's the tip. And you push the button here and it dispenses the diamonds that are in here. The problem with this pin, one, I haven't worked with it yet so I don't know if this comes off. That's one problem. The other problem is, is if you look at the tip of the pin that pin is not going to disperse a round drill. It's not going to be big enough. So this basically will probably distribute a two millimeter or possibly a three, but not an eight or a 10. Now we all know that our round drills are bigger than our squares. Yeah, so not very impressed with this. I'm going to see what I can do with it uh, and see if there's any way that I can take this off and try it. But the little crystals that are in here are not um, like flat back um, diamonds. They are actually little crystal balls. So be warned if you do see those commercials not recommend you purchase this because to me this is a very expensive oops I should have not purchased this I am going to try it out I am going to try and see if I can take this off and refill it but I don't think it's possible so we're just going to put that over there and say say la vie <laughs> okay so now we're going to open up this now let me tell you a little bit about it. It is a 78 by 58 full round drill. And this is called Lazy Day on the Beach. It's an ocean scene. <laughs> so let's open up the box and take a look and see what we have inside. Now I'm a little bit concerned because the box is kind of scrunched. But this company, uh, their canvases are really nice and they use the poured glue method so I'm not overly concerned. That was the one thing that shocked me when I got my first one from them. So here it is. Nice and big. It's heavy. 
So let's take a look and see the canvas and everything that's inside. Well, there's a toolkit. And so they provide two toolkits. So these toolkits are your basic green tray, a nice huge plate of wax on both, a basic pink pin, and some Ziploc bags. But it has that really nice four placer that a lot of us like to use. So I got two new ones now, so that's a good thing because my two that I have right now currently um, need to be, they're worn out. <laughs> so let's take a look here. We've got our drills. So we're just gonna put that off to the side for now. And let's, roll this canvas the other direction and straighten it out. Now, as I said, this store does use cord glue. All right, we're just going to let this sit for just about 30 seconds and then we'll roll it out and take a look and see what it looks like. So I hope everyone is having a really good day today. It is really nice out here in Winnipeg. It's plus 13, which is shorts weather actually. It's got a bit of a breeze, so it's a little nippy if you're not careful. Um, apparently we're gonna get snow tomorrow. Keeping my fingers crossed we don't. And yeah, so let's roll this out and see what it looks like. And so there it is. So again, I call this the lazy day on the beach. So you can see like the lounge chairs here. Looks like a little bit of like a fire through here, but here's the ocean. And then you've got a sailboat here in the background and then your palm trees. So this is gonna be a nice picture. It's big, <laughs> it's pretty big. A um, Couple of things I'm gonna point out about this store that I really, really like. Like I said, it is poured glue, so that's a bonus, I really like that. And I also like the fact that they have made a few changes on their canvases. Now when I did my post review back in November, I believe it was, and I'll have that video in the description if you're interested in taking a look. They only had the legend on one side of the canvas. So now they have the legend on both sides of the canvas. So you've got the legend here, and then you have the legend up here. So that was one suggestion I had made to them in regards to their paintings. But one other thing that I made a suggestion to was the training wheels. They had training wheels on them and this painting does not. So I'm very, very excited over that. So let's bring the drill field up so that you can take a look at that drill field. It's very, very clear. And as you can see, no training wheels. So there's your legend, very clear. They also made the legend a lot bigger. The last painting I had was quite small. And if you hear the dogs, I do apologize. They're outside playing in the backyard. So they have made quite a bit of improvements on their canvas, which I'm really happy to see. So let's take a look at their drills. And we're gonna take this and flip it upside down so we can look at the drills. So if any of you are sensitive to the sound of these bags being opened, please go ahead and turn down the volume of your devices. And once you see that I've stopped struggling with the bag, you know it's safe to come back on. Right, 
So there's a lot of color in here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I don't want to bore all of you, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the camera, insert some music, and we're going to sort out all these colors, make sure that everything is here, and we'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we're back and all the drills are accounted for. Unfortunately, they do not send an inventory sheet, so it's hard to tell if I truly have all of the drills that I'm going to need for this painting. But from previous experience, they gave me plenty of drills. So keeping my fingers crossed on that definitely will keep you informed when I start this painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera real quick and put these drills away so that we can take one last look at this canvas and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And before I put the drills away, I just wanted to point out one other thing and that is the quality of their drills. I don't know if you'll be able to see that here in um, with them in the plastic bag. But I'm gonna bring these up to you really quick. And the reason I'm pointing these out is because you'll see that there are no dimples on those drills. Very nice drills. The last painting I did with this particular store, I really did like their drills. So just wanted to point that out, very nice. And we're just going to go ahead and put these off to the side. Almost didn't get them all in here. All right. And let's take this and flip it over again. So one last thing we're going to do is we're going to measure this canvas and see if it is true to size. So I have my measuring tape here. And that is inches, we want centimeters. Okay, so we're gonna measure the drill field first. And this is, I don't know if you can see me doing it here. How about if I do it this way? Nope, you still can't see me. There. So from drill field to drill field, this is 70. And this is 50. So let's go the entire canvas. So that's 77 and a half. And this, oops, is 57 and a half. So it's not quite. 78 by 58 but close enough and that's the entire canvas that's not the drill field okay everyone so we're going to go ahead and end the video if you like the video let me know by giving me that thumbs up i would greatly appreciate that and if you're new to the channel a big howdy and welcome 
If you like what you see and you like what you heard, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe though, don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell will indicate when I've uploaded my next video. So by saying that everyone, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it is evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name is Janae. Thank you so much for spending some time with me tonight on the review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.